I'm still George the Ink. These are the expansions for Witcher of the Old World. And you're still watching, getting tabled. Hello, future people, and welcome to part two of my unboxing adventure with Witcher of the Old World. Today we're going to be covering the mages, legendary hunt, and the skellig. I'm going to say skellig, um, something like that. Uh, these are the expansions for Witcher of the Old World. Uh, mages obviously add in mages, legendary hunt adds in um, more things to hunt, and Skellig from what I can uh, gather adds an extra part of the map to expand the gameplay. Um, we're going to dive into these and take a look at them. Alright, first on the list we're going to look at the mages. Um, obviously, mages are mages, they're the spellcasters, so you got the butchers who use their swords and, and whatnot, mages, well, they use their magic. And I think this is kind of a, a good, simple idea to increase uh, gameplay slash replayability because you're only adding, like, one extra class and it's pretty easy to keep, you know, the extra, you know, when, when you only get two, it's pretty easy to keep it, you know, balanced. Uh, Looks like there's a little rule book here for the mages. Uh, school scoring, wooden tokens, uh, energy marker. It looks like they have their own dashboards. A uh, little game set up to, to use the mages with the, the rest of the game. Uh, and then it has the new uh, card types for the expansion, obviously. Um, don't know if I noticed this on the core rule book, but here we got the other what the symbolage means. A little thing of tokens. And a little extra track board for the deck. Uh, no extra monsters. Pretty, pretty simple, straightforward uh, expansion here. We have one, two, three, four, five more player dashboards. So total of ten player characters. Uh, Alzur, Ardia, Kikara, Othar, and Philippa. Um, again, not not huge in this uh, world yet. I've I've only recently really gotten into it, so. Be kind to me with the, the pronunciations. Uh, again, same uh, high quality dual layered, dual layered cardboard. Now they have gone through, yeah, you know, so got the same plastic tokens. They have gone through and done entirely different colors from the, the Witchers to the Mages. Including the, the discs and stuff. And let me pull out my macro lens to manually hold. Alright, let's see here. Details. I, I'm stunned at the detail they get on these board game minis for the the mass production that they they do. Where is my? There we go. This is this is testing the limits of my coordination with holding the lens, holding the mini, and trying to get it all to view in perspective.
this one, this one looks really cool in my opinion. Uh, fully painted, this will be be stunning. He's uh, teleporting. There's the back of it. I think that'll look just amazing. Again, I apologize for the, the quality of the, the camera work here, but I figure it's better to hold the lens and at least try to get some of the detail instead of just not showing you any of the detail. That again is pretty cool. And again, it, it looks like, you know, the game is relatively, you know, simplistic, quote unquote, you know, that, you know, we, there's one sheet of tokens, you know, and it's not even a full sheet. It's like, you know, just the scoring tokens. The rest is done with cards. Um, I, I, I feel cards are easier to just work with, not cards and tokens like uh, some other games are. Uh, the other thing I just want to point out is the simplicity of the, the packaging. You know, how easy everything has its place and you know it's easy to put back into its place again the uh, little peel strip for the decks of cards instead of how to manhandle them open again a identifier for the deck uh, some new artwork for the backs my guess because you know magic Mages, right? Um, again, it's that same um, durable uh, paper. Um, some of the the artwork is just is, is still just amazing. Summoning. Ooh. I don't know if I'm going to go through and, and sleeve. Probably should. But I've also been reading some comments on the, the Facebook group that I don't have enough room for the cards down there. I'll sleeve. How, how, how are people doing this? So I'm wondering if that's, that's an issue. It, to me, it looks like there's, there's ample space for, for all of the... Uh, cards to be sleeved, but sleeving does add a lot of size, so. Uh, some more uh, school cards, it looks like, for the, the mages. Oh, here we have the, uh, the individual casters, I think. Yeah, so here's Philippa's. So yeah, each each card has, or each uh, wizard mage has their own cards and card backs, just like the uh, the Witchers. And more more mage Billy cards. Like I said, I have not sat down to uh, the rules yet to know if, you know, you separate out the cards per whatever uh, character you're using or if it's just one big deck and you, you get what you get and if it happens to be of your school, you just happen to be better at it. Um, but again, it, it, it looks like, it, you know, it's, it's, it's fairly straightforward as far as, you know, like there's only a handful of, you know, decks each deck has a purpose you know it's not like i know some games you know like uh, i'm gonna you know use it again massive darkness too uh, there are tokens galore in that game on top of decks galore you know it's like pick one or the other don't don't do all i mean i understand that sometimes you know to do what you need to do for game design you have to but all right so next we're going to go on to legendary hunt now i have few I uh, read about people talking about how this is uh, a needed, wanted add-on uh, for solo mode. It adds more playability, replayability. 
Uh, first of all, the artwork looks great, especially with the, the very super matte uh, paper on the box. the legendary hunt some more monsters oh, I suppose I'll pull up the lens for those uh, some tokens looks like they're double-sided to have some randomness oh, this is interesting this doesn't have a cover I wonder if that's just by intentional design um, everything else has had a cover wise Well, I don't know. I don't know if people would be uh, sleeving these up. Um, that wouldn't fit too well once it's sleeved. Alrighty, so. Obviously, this is the, the guy from the cover. It looks like a giant. Considering the, uh, the other miniatures uh, go up to his knee. That is a big ribbit. Uh, big rivet with uh, teeth. Again, they've uh, they've numbered the bottom and correlated that you know with the number, so that you know if you do pull everything out, you can put it back rather easily. Um, well, how how bad of a guy can this be? He's just a uh, playing a flute on a rock. <laughs> This looks absolutely fun. Big old praying mantis. Alrighty, and the wings on this one are cool. Let's see, is this guy a, looks like a cyclops? Yeah, gotta have a Cyclops. Watch George struggle with a card strip for five minutes now. <laughs> so deck identifier. Uh, very identical as identifiable as monster cards with the Now it looks like these guys have their own maybe? No, it's just the artwork. I was going to say with that head matching this dude here, I, figured, I thought it would be like, you know, all monsters have their own individual deck. It looks like they're just monster attacks. Um, player takes six damage. That's a, that's a big attack. I'm guessing these are locations where the monster shows up at. Where they wander. Again, haven't read the rules, don't know. So this is probably actually the monster specific stuff, yes. Because there we go. Gollum. Got all of his abilities, description of what he is. Um Looks like hit points, maybe. 
There's a Cyclops with 11. Toad. Frightener. Which one's the Frightener? Looks like this guy was the Frightener. Uh, would have been handies on these cards if it, uh, there's a little number to, you know, I'm sure it's fairly straightforward, you know, because I mean, they, they're very unique, but um, putting a uh, number in the corner to correlate with the, the number on the base. Um, it just would have been easy, not necessary. Uh, Ice Giant, you know, he's only got five. Um, so yeah, the, the harmless looking guy, he's got 16 hit points right there. That's, that's fantastic. It looks like a basic run through of how they work. So, uh, more artwork and description on the other side. So, I mean, I, I can understand why they chose not to make a plastic cover for this. It's pretty, pretty easy to keep those contained, but just the overall, like, uniformity with everything, you know, having a plastic cover to hold the minis in place, that, that would have been nice to see. So, then our final box in the expansions, the Skellig. Like I said, looking at this, it looks like this is an map expansion to add more real estate so to speak oh, and ships so you can go sailing and come on come on open there we go So, yeah, it looks like there's a, a board, some more tokens, uh, three ships, a dragon. Uh, full run through using the stuff for a turn. Uh, new locations. Again, I like like how few tokens they, they do have going in this game. Ah. And here's the expanded map. Again, I love how matte they've made everything. There's no gloss to it. It's just very, very low-key. Um, That being said, this game is very heavy on the decks of cards, so not too many minis in here. The three ships are appear to be identical. They are. So won't won't have to do this for too much. Um, pretty simple, straightforward. There's a little indent for the the model with the ring to sit in. Uh, looks like wood planking, cloth sail. Nothing too crazy. It, it is it is a little sailing ship. Uh, and then there's this guy, a dragon. Oh, Dagon. That's a Dagon. Sorry, sorry, Dagon. Don't don't yell at me in the comments. <laughs> uh, So what we got here? Uh, looks like the Dagon has his own little deck. That's fun. Looks like uh, some story cards. What is this? Am I? No. Okay. So looks like uh, locations. Quest type things. What we got 
here. Looks like events for while you're sailing because, you know, sailing never goes okay without issues, right? There's always some issues. I'm not going to bother to pull this out. It's already sleeved. Um, <laughs> 15 hit points. Got all its abilities and attacks. More description. And that is that. Is that. So... My, my takeaway from these is I, I really like how each expansion adds a different level of gameplay instead of just like, it's another thing. This adds another, you know, player character class. This adds more monsters, um, bigger, better, more special monsters, and then extra places to go. Um, it's not like a rehash of oh, this box does this, and this box does this. And it, with the exception of changing some words and stuff like that, it's just the same thing. So, uh, really impressed with the quality of the boxes, the artwork, just how everything looks. Um, the, the miniature quality is, is absolutely phenomenal. I'll, of the board games I have, I'd have to say it's probably... It's probably uh, second best. I think some of the, the God Tear stuff I have, I think those miniatures are are absolutely stunning, but that game was designed a little bit differently as like a, a miniature game that's a, a serial board game type thing. So I, th I think they spent a little more time as far as quality of those miniatures versus, you know, being a normal board game miniature. But these, these are absolutely fantastic. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, the next and last episode of this unboxing will be the extras, which will be Dice, uh, the mat, and the Kickstarter exclusives. Thanks for watching. Don't get tabled. Thank you very much for checking out this video. If you're enjoying the content of this channel, please like and subscribe. If you're in a position to do so, please check out patreon.com slash getting tabled. You receive early access to at least 80% of all videos that we put out. And you get access to the video edition of all of our podcasts the day that they're uploaded. If you'd like to check us out on social media, facebook.com slash getting tabled is the most active. We also have a Discord server. You can email our team at gettingtabled at gmail.com. If you're on either Twitter or Instagram, you can find us at gettingtabled. And until next time, 